the Cincinnati Bengals are on the clock who there may be a Gruden there <laughs> yesterday they meaning as the offensive coordinator at AJ Green is their wide receiver yesterday yeah how about throw it to him yeah well you know Chris the Bengals coaching staff was in the senior bowl now Jay my brother wasn't hired during this process but the Bengals should know Colin Kaepernick from Nevada and they should know Stanzi they coached him they also saw Dalton I know there's some feelings in the room for Mallet. I would think this is going to be a quarterback. And so if that's the case, and was there a tackle better than the guy that's going to come up to help the commissioner make the pick? He's in the Hall of Fame. We'll let the commissioner introduce the big fellow who once upon a time played for USC before he starred with the Bengals. To announce the Cincinnati Bengals selection, please welcome from the University of Southern California, the third overall pick in the 1980 draft by the Cincinnati Bengals, Hall of Fame tackle Anthony Munoz. Good evening. With the 35th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Andy Dalton, quarterback, TCU. I like that pick, Chris. You know, I know that they were sleepless probably last night, hoping they could get a quarterback. And Andy Dalton, a four-year starter, 42 wins, Mel, is going to be coming in there in Cincinnati with a chance to become an immediate starter. What I like what the Bengals did is they had a couple receivers that are tweeting and twatting it. Maybe they don't want to come back, so they take A.J. Green. Their quarterback might not want to come back. Take a quarterback and take a guy that you know can play. And the one thing I do know about this guy is he can make accurate throws and good decisions. And I think the more you give this kid, check with me, the more system football that you give him, the better he'll be. And he'll have to be because the Cincinnati Bengals are a work in process. They need to address their offensive line. They're in a tough division. You like those Baltimore Ravens, Mel, the Pittsburgh Steelers, the Cleveland Browns are on the rise. You need a quarterback. I'm happy for the Cincinnati Bengals. I think this kid can run. He's got functional movement. He ran for over 1,600 yards. This guy will give the Bengals a shot in the arm where they need it. John, what I like is the fact he improved in terms of accuracy and that completion percentage. Last three years went from 59% to 61%. Finished off at 66% this past year. The only concern is He's not 6'4", he's 6'2", and he does have that three-quarter delivery, which results in some passes being batted down. That's something we'll have to deal with in the NFL, but to get a kid like this, go about a kid who played five years, fifth-year senior, very rare to see a kid stay his entire career because he didn't have elite skills, but he's there. He's a kid who gained 35 pounds, added to his frame during his career, smart, intelligent football player. Cincinnati Bengals have their quarterback. Three observations. 42-7, and seven, record as a starter. Hello. He's got... Orange hair, the same color as that, the Bengals, which I think is a perfect fit. And maybe he can get Munoz to play tackle. He's all set. Mort, what do you have? You're Top that. Well, a general manager told me what, what, what was sealed the deal for him in terms of the level of competition was the Rose Bowl game against Wisconsin. He stood near Andy Dalton during the pregame. Crowd was 80% Wisconsin fans. They were yelling at him, profane in many ways. Calm as can be. Wisconsin looked like an NFL team. Wisconsin goes down and scores a field goal. Andy Dalton, two straight touchdowns. Calm as can be. He made it big time against Wisconsin in the Rose Bowl. And that game right there, I think, made a lot of coaches and GMs feel like this guy can play in this league. Boomer? All right, Moore, he won a Rose Bowl, and now he comes into Cincinnati. We'll see if, what Wither, Carson, Palmer, and we'll see what's coming up in early round two.